Hello, welcome to part 2 of the morning series. In this tutorial I will talk a little bit about time and date. So we are gonna create two tasks inside our morning task that tells us the time and date. But not the normal way, we are gonna use for the time the 12 hour format and we are gonna convert some things like for example if the time is 7 o'clock 15 we are gonna say quarter past 7. And and for the date, we're gonna use a script that gives us the date in a long format. So let's open Tasker right now. When I open Tasker, you will see here three tasks. Date, date long and time. That's what we need for today. The first thing I will explain is time. Let's open time and let's play it. It's now 5 o'clock 32. So it says it's now 5 o'clock and 32. I will explain how it works. First of all, I gonna do a variable split. We're gonna use the global variable inside tasker and that's the variable time. We're gonna split it with a point. Then after splitting, we're gonna have two parts, time 1 and time 2. So we're gonna set a new variable but right now we're going to use a local variable because local variables are faster easier and can't interfere with other tasks so we're gonna set a variable time one to time one divided by one i'm doing this because i want to remove the zero before the number for example seven o'clock it would say normally zero seven so i gonna divide that by one so if you write this inside your task you have to write time one space slash space one also be sure that you use math okay then we're gonna set time two to time two to a local variable and time two will be the minutes time one will be the hours so if you see here action number four is an if statement so we're gonna use if time one the hour is bigger than 12 we we're gonna convert that to a 12 hour format. For example, here we're gonna set time 1 to time 1 minus 12. So for example, if it's 13 hours and 10 minutes, it will be 13 minus 12 will be 1. Else, we're gonna set a variable time 1 to time 1. We're gonna close with an end if statement of course, and then we're gonna look to our minutes. So we're gonna use use time 2. So if time 2 is equal to 15, we're gonna set that variable to quarter past. And then we're gonna say time 2 time 1. So for example, it's now quarter past 7. Okay, and then action number 12. We're gonna do the same for 30. So if time 2 is equal to 30, we're gonna set time 2 to half past. And then it will say the time again. For example, it's now half past 7. Then the 45. If time 2 is equal to 45, we're gonna set time 2 to quarter 2. And then we have to edit our time 1 to time 1 plus 1. Quarter 2, 8 for example. And and then we're gonna use those variables again in our C command. Then we use an else if statement. Else if time 2 is equal to 0, 0, it will say only time 1 o'clock. Else if time 2 different from 15, 30, 45 or 0, 0, it will say it's now time 1 o'clock and time 2. And we close with an and if statement of course. So that's our time test. Then we use two tasks for our dates. You will see here date and date long. What I'm doing there is using subtasks. I'm gonna use date long inside date. Let's open first date long. And you will see I'm using a JavaScript. You can do that also in another way, but it's all depending on the date format of your phone. So if you go to the settings of your phone and you go to date and time you will see here 24 hours format and you will see also i'm sorry it's in my own 
wrong language here notation of the date so our phone use normally this setting for our date so it can be different from person to person instead of that I'm using a script that works on every phone for example I could use this task for myself but maybe it wouldn't work for someone else because it used another format of notation of the date so I'm gonna use that script so here I am back in our task so we're gonna use the Java scriptlet and you will see here a code and I'm not gonna explain this code but only the important things so when you scroll up you will see here the month names in an array so you have just January, February, March, etc. etc. If you want it in your own language, just edit that. The same goes for the weekday names. So you can change that in whatever you want. That's the important thing. And then we have also a return. But I'm not gonna explain that either. So let's go back and let's go to our dates. So we're gonna prefer our task date long. That was our other task. And we we're gonna use some parameters we're gonna use par1 and par2 so par1 will be times global variable and then we have our parameters how the date would be shown okay for example I'm using for these for these is the weekday name then we use our day then the long notation of our months and then we use also the year so if you want you can change that and then when I flash my date for example I can also use the say command of course so here I gonna use only the flash let's play that task and you will see here Saturday 15 March 2014 so it will always work and then the last thing we need to do is using time and date inside our morning task let's open that and if you saw my previous tutorial we created the morning message then we're gonna perform the time and then we're gonna perform the dates so in that case it will tell us loud the message then it will tell us the time and then it will as the date in long format. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any comments, questions and you like the video, give it a thumbs up and you can post any question or comment on my YouTube channel or my Google Plus community. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.